This video will show you how to correctly prepare material for turning between two centres so that it can be safely mounted on the wood lathe. To do this you will need a piece of wood known as a blank, a pencil, steel rule, tri-square, marking gauge, a centre punch or a bradle, a hammer such as a ball peen hammer, spring dividers, tenon saw and a smoothing plane. Before marking out the blank, a tri-square should be used to check that there is 90 degrees between the edges and end of the wooden blank. This check should be done on both ends of the material. If the ends are not at 90 degrees to the edges, a band facer can be used to correct this. Turn the power isolator switch to on and set the band facer guard so that there is just enough space above the material to allow it to move, but not so much that you can get your fingers in. Next, set the mitre fence to zero degrees by turning the black locking bolt anti-clockwise and lining up the line on the mitre fence rail with the line at zero on the mitre protractor. Turn the black locking bolt clockwise and then check that the fence is secure. Insert the mitre fence rail into the slot on the band facer table and then use a tri-square to check there's 90 degrees between the sanding belt and the mitre fence. Ensure that all safety precautions have been followed before turning the machine on. To turn the band facer on, turn the emergency stop to the right until it clicks out and press the green button. Press one edge of the blank against the mitre fence and one edge against the machine table and then apply even pressure as you move the fence back and forth across the belt sander. Use the tri-square to now check that there's 90 degrees between the end of the material and the edges. The first step in marking out the blank is to take a steel rule and very carefully draw lines between the two corners on either end of the material. Accuracy is key at this point, so make sure you have a sharp pencil and you take your time. Next, using a bradle or a centre punch and hammer, mark the point where the two lines cross over on either end of the material. Again, accuracy is crucial, so take your time. Use a pair of spring dividers to draw as large a circle as possible on both ends of the material. Carefully line in both these circles with a sharp pencil. The second step in marking out a wood lathe blank is to secure the material into a bench vise and use a tenon saw to cut down the lines between the corners to a depth of 5mm. Remember, this must be done on one end only. The third step is to use a bradle or centre punch and hammer to mark a point of about 4mm in depth on the end that's opposite to the one that is cut. The fourth step is to remove the corners and edges of the blank, set a marking gauge to 10mm and then use this to draw lines down the edges of the material as shown. This can be done by holding the blank freehand or, for greater accuracy and control, Place the blank into a bench vise and repeat the process. Draw lines either side of each of the four corners. This will give a total of eight lines. Then, using a pencil and steel rule, draw over each of these scored lines to make them visible. Use a pencil and steel rule to join the lines on both ends of the material. It is now time to remove the material on the corners of the blank. Place the material into a bench vise and use a smoothing plane to plane in the direction of the grain and remove these corners down to the lines. Large knots can be very difficult and tricky to remove with a smoothing plane, so a surform tool can be used instead to remove material that has a knot in it. Continue to remove the material on the corners of the blank until you have cut down to the lines. Continue to gradually rotate the material using a smoothing plane and surform to get the material as round as possible.
If the blank looks similar to this, it is now ready to be mounted onto the wood lathe.